after the discussion about dividing polynomials using two different methods, the long division method and synthetic division, we will now proceed to the remainder theorem. Paano ba ginagamit ang remainder theorem or saan ginagamit? So, re the remainder theorem states that if a polynomial P of X is divided by X minus C, then the remainder is equal to P of C. So, again, to make it simple, hindi natin siya i-discuss dun sa words na yun. So, i-discuss natin siya. Ano ba yung use niya? So, ginagamit ang remainder theorem para ma-identify kung ano ang remainder if we divide a polynomial by a binomial. So, binomial siya kasi uh, C, X minus C ang ginamit. So, ibig sabihin, applicable lang to if the, if the divisor is a binomial. So, using the remainder theorem, without using synthetic division or long division method, pwede natin ma-identify yung remainder. Pero yung mismong quotient, hindi natin siya ma-identify. Yung remainder lang. Example, so, 2x If we divide 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 4 by x minus 4, so hahanapin natin kung ano ang remainder niya without using uh, synthetic division or long division method. Kasi pag ginamit natin yun, nakukuha natin yung quotient at the same time nakikita natin kung may remainder siya na 0 or wala. Kung 0 siya, automatic wala siyang remainder. Pero pag may lumabas na number sa last entry, so that is the remainder. So, dito gagamitin natin ang remainder theorem. Again, ginagamit siya para ma-identify yung remainder. Remainder lang, hindi yung quotient. So, ang gagawin lang natin, mag-start tayo dito kay divisor. So, we will equate x minus 4 to 0. And then, yung minus 4, ililipat sa kabila using APE or transposition. So, if we isolate f x, that is positive 4. And then, yung positive 4, isa-substitute natin dito. Sa value ng, ah, sa x. So, magiging 2. So, 4 raised to 3 minus 7 multiply by 4 square minus 5 multiply by 4 plus 4. So, lahat ng x, pinalitan ko ng 4. Kasi x is equal to 4. And then, if we perform the operation 4 raised to 3, so, that is 2 multiplied by 64 minus 7, 4 squared is 16, minus 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 plus 4. So, 128, that is 64 multiplied by 2. And then, minus 7 multiplied by 16 is 112, minus 20 plus 4. So, if we add 1 to 8 plus negative or minus 112 minus 20 plus 4, so the answer is 0. It means the remainder is 0. So, divisible ang given expression 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 4 sa x minus 4. So, that is remainder theorem. So, na, without uh, using synthetic division or long division method, we identify the remainder. So, equate lang natin yung divisor by 0. And then, substitute. If we, if we already isolate the value of the x, so, kukunin natin yung value niya and then isa-substitute natin sa given expression or given dividend. Second example, So, dito, 
uh, in case na kulang siya, halimbawa 3, 2x cubed plus 3x plus 4, walang square, okay lang kasi nagsasubdidute lang naman tayo. Pag kinukuha natin yung product, doon kailangan magdagdag ng term para makompleto yung exponent. So dito, kahit wala yung 2 or 3, okay lang rin. So 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 1. Again, x minus 1, isolate yung x natin. So magiging x is equal to positive 1. So substitute. 7 multiply by 1 square plus 3 multiply by 1 plus 4. So, lahat ng x pinalitan ng 1 because x is equal to 1. 2 multiply by 1 cube is 2. Minus 7, 1 square, 7 plus 3 multiply by 1 plus 4. So, if we simplify the expression, that is cancel, cancel, positive 2. So, it means the remainder is So, hindi, div hindi divisible ang x minus 1, ang 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 3x plus 4 sa x minus 1. So, that is the remainder theorem. So, we can identify the remainder without using polynomial or synthetic division.